We're here at the Legends of Indiana Golf Club with newly elected President of the PG of America, Ted Bishop, and we're going to put Ted on the clock. Ted, uh, obviously a huge honor to be elected President of PG of America. Tell, tell us a little bit about what that means to you. Well, it means a lot, Mike, when you consider that PG of America is the largest working sports organization in the world. Any new or, or different experiences you've had so far? The naming of our new CEO, Pete Babakwa. Uh, we're excited about that. We're going to name a new Ryder Cup captain, middle of December. Any thoughts about what you want to accomplish in your two years as president? To you know, really continue and expand on the efforts of Golf 2.0 and to continue to make our golf professionals all over the country aware of how important it is that they do everything they can to have a positive influence on player development and, uh, and growth of rounds at their facilities. Well, what's it mean to the section to have you in this position? When you look at the history and the tradition of the Indiana section and you know for me to be the third national officer president of the PGA of America that we've had in this section I think speaks volumes for what other people in the United States thinks about the ability of the Indiana section to be a leader. This has been On the Clock with the newly elected President of the PG of America, Ted Bishop.